Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see how to create an Azure CDN profile and endpoint. Let me just quickly log on to the portal and take it from there. I am logged on to the Azure portal and I click on create a resource and I type in CDN. Here it is. I type in create. I click on create and then I'll type, I'm sorry, it came back again onto this screen. Test Azure CDN profile. I'm going to create, let me create a new resource group. Test Azure CDN RG. My location would be Central India. I'm gonna do with go with standard Microsoft and uh, create a CDN leave unselected. I am gonna, gonna hit create. You will see the uh, notification on the top right corner. Creating a CDN profile. Creating a CDN profile. Click on this job. Okay, now that we have created a CDN profile, we will create an endpoint. So in the Azure portal, you will have the CDN profile that you have created. And in the CDN profile, go to the CDN profile page like we are here. And here you can see on the overview, it's certain endpoint. To add an endpoint, click on plus endpoint, a pan appears, name it CDN and P, you, you can name it whatever you want to. And in the origin type, you can select storage, cloud service, web app, custom origin, select storage. Okay, you don't have any storage available here. So let me just log on to the portal again and then we'll create the storage and then we'll assign it here so to create a storage we will click on resource storage account create option is pay as you go resource group will be the same cdnrg storage account name test Azure cdn storage central india because we created it we did we'll do root channel purpose read access to your redundant storage exist here would be hot networking Let's leave it as it is. Let's create it. A storage account is getting created. As soon as it is done, I would be able to see it on the drop down menu while creating an endpoint. My deployment is completed. Click on go to resource. Here you see it. You have containers, file shares, tables, queues. I will make a separate video series on the storage account as well to explain everything in detail whatever is mentioned here so we go back here now if you cancel this create on endpoint again name it again origin type would be storage origin host name would be this it is the fqdn of your storage origin path would be the root path if you leave it leave blank origin host header leave the default and for uh, the optimized for leave the plank under http https leave it or optimized for journal web delivery click on that it will add an endpoint to your cdn profile and uh, it takes time for the registration to propagate the endpoint is not immediately available for use for Azure CDN standard from Microsoft profiles. Propagation usually completes in 10 minutes. And for Azure CDN standard from Akamai profiles, the propagation usually completes within one minute. 
and for Azure CDN standard from Verizon, Verizon and Azure CDN premium from Verizon profiles, propagation usually completes within 90 minutes. So because it was the standard, it has been done here. So you see this endpoint, which is the origin of this endpoint is storage account. Here, here is how you can manage your endpoint. I hope this was informative to all of you and in the next video we will see how to add a custom domain to the Azure CDN endpoint. I'll see you in the next video. Till then please do not forget to subscribe to this video. I'll see you next in the video. Thank you. Bye-bye.